Hello and welcome. In this video, I will talk about a topic called automation of trial balance generation. The prime use case of this automation of trial balance generation is, uh, say, in any organization, the period close happens in each and every month in a respective date, and after that closing of each period, they need a trial balance to see the financial health and account balance of each and every account right for important accounts so for that they need a trial balance after closing of the period and for this scenario actually they don't need to generate the trial balance each and every time we can automate this trial balance generation if required daily if required weekly or monthly or a particular date how we can achieve that I will talk about in this video so first we need to go to system administration and we can configure this for a one-time activity which is process automation framework and from this process automation framework here I have already created one but I will show how to do that so once we are in the system administration setup and process automations from this create new process automations I can select the schedule type called trial one snapshot update I can select the company and I can create a series series means I can create a recurrence job which will help me to generate the trial balance for particular you know frequency so for this case maybe I will give trial balance weekly or trial balance monthly maybe I can write descriptions and here I can give the schedule time the best possible case is that you schedule this time for outside of your business hours so I am from India so for me it can be like 2 a.m. even if not you are not in India then you can also have the same time 2 a.m. which is outside of business hours right so and you can give start date you can keep the end date blank or you can give a future end date which is three four years or five years later and once you are done this then you can have an option called repeats i mean it, it's basically the occurrence pattern so i can select daily so if i select daily the in the in the 2 a.m the the trial balance will be generated based on the given criteria and if I select weekly the same thing so what I will do I will select monthly so once I select monthly so I will have a possibility of which date of the month the trial balance will be generated say my closing happens on 7th or 8th maybe on the 8th day of the month the trial balance will be generated automatically I can have this daily weekly I mean to be very precise but for this use case I will select monthly maybe and then I will select next and here I can select financial dimension set based on which dimension set the trial balance will be generated I can keep anything like main account plus business unit or I have multiple financial dimension I can run it by the multiple financial dimension so for this case maybe I will select this and then I can select cut which layer I will select so uh, or which layer I will uh, you know have this automation to be generated or trial balance to be generated by the automation by for which layer so I will select current and you can create multiple process automations for other layers as well so for this automation I have selected current and here the important point and most useful feature is what I have felt is that for normal trial balance if you run the trial balance for but you know for two years it will not allow but here it will allow you to generate the trial balance for multiple years so I can keep current fiscal year selected fiscal year current and previous fiscal year current and group two previous fiscal years okay maybe I will select current and previous fiscal years or current fiscal years because always I want to have the trial balance till date after the closing so maybe I am recording this video on April so for May month it will be generated and it will be generated till May or for the first fiscal years now I will click finish 
and once I click finish then my schedule is created as you see okay this one I actually created and previous one was a previous earlier which I have created so this is the one I have created monthly and if you want to see the uh, occurrence so I can click on this view occurrences and from here you will see all the occurrences that next month on the 8th day of the month in May it will run on similarly 8 6 8 7 so as I have selected 8th day of the month so every month on the 8th day or 8th in the calendar date the trial this schedule will run and system will generate the trial balance so now the question will come to your mind mind where I will see this trial balance so here comes the end result so after creation of this you know automation process we will go to see the end result which is in general ledger trial balance and here in the trial balance form in the action when you will see trial balance snapshot so as you see there are snapshots available which is generated by the system okay so as you see uh, in this form the dimension set was used this and this and now we have created this one so this is already run and it will also show you multiple things like which dimension set the trial balance was created snapshot was created for which layer for which legal entity and for fiscal years to process so which for which fiscal year the trial balance was created so how to see that uh, so basically it is running but previously I have run this one the first one so I can show you that how this has been created in the system so once you have seen this and you will see a result called snapshot it has completed complete okay and then you can click on this open in Excel download so it will be downloaded in your system I can open it now okay so it works from here it works like an Excel add-in so once you are logged in with your Excel and then it will bring all the balance of the trial well I mean all the ledgers the way trial balance basically is seen in our trial balance form so here I can see you can filter with the dimension uh, period name like if you want to see only the period one or multiple periods like Excel how you do that you can select you can select type posting layer snapshot status okay this is and then you can see credit opening balance debit and all the dimension value as well in this Excel so this is basically the trial balance which is automatically generated or you can always see this in the Excel file and you can analyze so by this way company can utilize this feature without running it all the time because for some of the organization I have seen if the data is huge it takes many you know uh, it takes a lot of time like one hour two hour to generate trial balance because they have huge data like two million three million so for those for them as well this feature will be very much useful if they want to see weekly trial balance daily trial balance they can have an automation process and they can analyze it they don't need to spend time and sit back and see when the trial balance will be completed instead outside of the business our system will do this generation and they will have the end result and important thing is that say you have a external reporting system for that you need a trial balance snapshot or trial balance from the system so for that as well you can utilize this excel file and microsoft dynamics team actually given this external tracking id by which it can be integrated with external system so that you don't need to build your own data entity and you know uh, for file uploader or something like that from system system already have this file and it can be integrated to other system reporting tool and other things as well so like this way they can utilize this feature and also uh, I would I would like to add you one thing that even if you don't you know uh, need to you don't have time or you don't have any scheduled trial balance in the order ad hoc time you need this trial balance snapshot 
and other than waiting on the screen the when the trial balance will be completed you can create this snapshot or manually as well as you see in the right hand side i have a curve i have a field called process automation so here as you see the first and the last option is tick that means this two has been created by the process automation framework but the middle one it is actually you not know, ticked means it is actually created manually how we can utilize this feature by manual creation as well so how to do that you can just click on add trial balance snapshot and you can select financial dimension set the way you have created the automation or the the way you need to create the trial balance you can select posting layer you can select the fiscal years okay multiple fiscal years also you can select and you can give the fiscal year name if you select the range or you can just select current fiscal year and click okay once you have done that it will be like not started you can click on run snapshot once and it will start processing once it is done it will be there as a complete so you can come back and see this trial balance snapshot any time and it will be there for a longer period so for that so the take away from this video is that first is that for the entities or for the organization who is spending lot of time to generate the trial balance and sitting idle while the, while the trial balance is getting generated they can utilize this functionality they can just run it and you know do the other work and it will create and also uh, the prime example is that if you i mean all the organization have their schedule period close process and after the period close process they always need the trial balance so you can schedule this trial balance snapshot automation <clears throat> once the period is closed everything is posted you can come back and if anyone can just utilize this trial balance snapshot as per their requirement and the third thing is third beautiful thing what i think is that the fiscal year because in the trial balance if you select multiple fiscal year like a say suppose i will select from Janu, uh, january 2023 to february i don't think system will allow because from date is in fiscal year 2023 Two date in fiscal year on four date must be in the same first fiscal year. So there is a drawback in the trial balance run, but in the trial balance snapshot, you can actually utilize this feature and run the trial balance for multiple fiscal years. Okay, this is the third benefit of using this trial balance snapshot. So that's it. I wanted to showcase and I want to share my knowledge that and one of the you know. client i have helped them by utilizing this feature and they are happy so that's it for this video thank you for watching keep keep sharing keep liking this video thank you bye